Welcome to Charity Village Connects. Today we're celebrating the 2023 winners of the Charity Village National Awards. Joining me is Irene Duakesi, founder and executive director of Rise in STEM. Uh, she's the winner of the best individual contribution to advancing youth in the workplace. Congratulations and welcome, Irene. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. So tell us about your organization and what made you decide to submit a nomination? Yes. So Rise in STEM, we are a youth-led grassroots initiative based in Toronto, specifically Etobicoke area. And we provide different learning opportunities around leadership and specifically building technical skills and career development for young people um, to be successful in today's digital society. We particularly have a focus on Black youth, but we try to serve underserved communities across the GTA. And I applied for the Charity Village um, Awards. I've been following Charity Village for some time now and has been a go-to place for me in terms of job opportunities specifically and just events happening in the nonprofit sector. And when I seen the awards, I just felt like it was a timely manner for me to apply just because we are wrapping up our third year programming. We started this in the midst of the pandemic or just right before the pandemic started. And so this is our first year kind of going back in person to doing programming. And I just feel like we've had like a really good, um, fulsome experience in our first three years. And so when I saw the award, I'm like, why not apply just to celebrate this big milestone for us. Well, we're glad that you did. And you certainly um, made the judges take notice. What do you think made your nomination stand out? Um, I think what made it stand out is just with us being youth led and grassroots um, and just being able to see that we've been able to create something from the ground up. And now it's evolved into a movement or momentum in my community, but also STEM broadly. Um, we've been able to work with different community partners, specifically STEM organizations and institutions, and receive so much support um, from funders, specifically the Ontario Trillium Foundation, to allow us to do what we do. And I think we're doing it in such a unique way because, like I mentioned, it's youth-led, we're STEM-focused, and we are one of a kind in the Atopical community that we serve. And so I feel like that has allowed us to be unique in taking a community um, approach to building um, for STEM career development, but also very practical because we're engaged with the community and we are essentially are working with the community to develop these opportunities. And so I think that's what made it stand out. I'm hoping it has. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just really happy and appreciative to be recognized for this work. Well, you certainly were recognized. You're a winner. What does it mean to you personally that you've been named a winner for this award and, uh, and, and then for your organization? Yeah, I think for me, it just helps me see that I'm doing something right. Um, it gives me much more motivation to keep pushing and believing in the vision. When I started this initiative, it was just really because of my experiences walk going through um, post-secondary. I didn't really realize that it, so much people had the similar experience as me and how much need the community, the community needed this. And so I think for me, it just allows me to feel validated in my experiences and what I foresee is needed in the community, um, especially because with the journey starting something like this, there's so many highs and lows and it can get confusing sometimes. So for me, I think it's just really validating and allows me to kind of continue pushing even when I feel like, you know, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Um, and I think for the organization, I think getting recognized by an organi organization like Charity Village means so much to us because you Charity Village is the epitome of like what we're trying to do. And so I think with this recognition, it could open more doors for us that can lead to more support, more opportunities, but ultimately just strengthening our mission um, and providing that credibility to our mission, which can then inspire young people who have been engaged with us in the past and will come in the future. 
Well, we certainly hope that that does happen and that the, the award achieves that for you. What is for certain is that you've done remarkable work that was recognized by subject matter experts in the area, our judges. So congratulations. Thank you for all the wonderful work you've been doing and even during the pandemic, achieving so much um, and giving back to the nonprofit sector and the communities that you serve uh, to make it a better place and a more uh, productive and uh, I think hopeful place for young people. So uh, marvelous work and thank you. No, thank you so much. And really excited to see everything that Charity Village is doing and really appreciative to kind of be, again, acknowledged and part of this um, 2023 awards um, ceremony. Well, congratulations. And thanks for joining us on Charity Village Connects. Thank you.